Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do my weekly reading for love, romance, and partnership for May 22nd through the 28th. Do keep in mind this is a general message and we're going to dive in and see what spirit has for everyone in regards to love and I'm going to be using my Doreen Virtue's Dream Oracle, Angel Oracle, and the Mythic Dreamer Tarot for those deck enthusiasts. This is a deck that I've been wanting and I finally got it and connected to it. So I'm being drawn to the dream energies for this week in regard to love. So let's dive in and see what spirit has. As I was meditating before I started, I was connecting to the energies of the unicorn. So unicorn energy is around very strongly this week. So that connects me, of course, to the third eye, as well as, um, you know, very magical energy, very miracle type energy. So you may be seeing something that you wouldn't believe, you know, you can see this week in regards to love. And we have green, beautiful energies for love right on spot, the heart chakra. And it's all about compassion, love, and cultivation. And not only through romance and spiritual partners, etc. Just the energy of love for everyone. Compassion for everyone. Um, holding that space for those around you in your life in general. You know, just the energy of love. I'm really looking at cultivating compassion through that uh, this time. I feel like a lot of sensitivities, a lot of things coming up um, for healing in regard to emotion. Um, and... As that happens and as that occurs and as everyone awakens, there's a lot of sensitive energies around right now. And there has been for a while. Uh, the, the, since March, the eclipses, there has been a lot of um, emotion coming up for healing and a lot of sensitivity. So the angels are asking, not only in love, but, you know, in general, in, you know, to be in that energy of cultivating compassion for everyone around you as much as you possibly can, being very patient with others. So that being said... I'm going to dive into the mythic dream or tarot and ask spirit to show us what is important through this week with the energies for um, using my angel five card placement to guide the energies this week. Tapping into the collective energies of love for everyone is a general message through this week. And I just feel like I want to give it a good... What the angels want us to know most this week, we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is all about emotion, you know, presenting emotion, accepting emotion, being open to giving and receiving emotion. It can be, um, you know, an emotional invitation or something coming towards you. It can be all these things that because of the energies I was feeling, I feel that it's just, you know, those, just the, just what I was saying, the emotion coming up and how you are open to it and how you are giving it so it's really about those energies of exchange of emotion but that's what the message is here this is about those energies moving this week um in either direction coming from you or towards you uh, for some this can be an emotional connection or an emotional invitation but it's just for me those energies of the water element of of, of emotion of compassion and love um, and feeling that and that that feeling energy so that is what they want us to know for the opening of this week. And I'm going to pull the next one, which is something they can see in regard to this high above. And it's Three of Pentacles. So it's cooperating. It's sort of that cultivation and having compassion with others. This is working uh, as a group collective. You know, this is working with other people. So what I'm hearing is working as a group collective to create, you know, a beautiful, um, you know, a beautiful future, a beautiful, you know, energy around you so it's working with those collectives in regards to moving the energies of love so they want everyone to kind of to pull together um in in working with compassion and working with cultivating the energies of compassion within love and again it doesn't have to be about romance it can be but it doesn't have to be um so and that's what i'm getting so really looking at what it is you're creating and working as a team with the collective energies and sending love and giving love and, and sending those energies of love outward so the next one is something to do for yourself this week, and it is a King of Wands. So the King of Wands is the energies of the masculine, and in the relationships it is a masculine twin energy. But it is connecting to that fire, um, 
energies for yourself this week. So really looking at becoming more more masculine in, in the way you, you um, approach things. So in regards to what we're seeing as a message, it could be just taking more control over expressing emotion, you know, and how you express it and how you give it. Or sending out that compassion, sending out that love. So it's really taking taking action is the word um, that um, I'm looking for. So that is the message that every that they want you to do for yourself this week is taking action in regards to love, in regards to compassion, and cultivating that, not just being passive. Because um, the feminine energy is more receptive. So this is more sun energy. This is more yang. This is more taking control of a situation. So this is something to do for yourself, harnessing those energies. Something they can see high above in regard to this you can't see down here, or a secret you do not know, is the death card. So this is all about the energies of transformation. And this card is interesting when I tuned into it when I got the deck. I see a child here in this card over here. And the message I was getting from this card and what its meaning is holding for me is transforming childhood energies. Transforming and patterns from childhood. So there's this is a secret you do not know is that there's childhood patterns being transformed um, from the past. So really looking at that and knowing that is happening. So as these you know energies of compassion need to come up, it's because there are things coming up from the past, childhood energies um, in relation to family and karmic energies um, in the spiritual relationships, they're being they're coming up and being healed. So you're healing those karmic patterns from your family and your ancestral lines. And so that is what they're saying here. And, 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 and when that happens, there can be a lot of sensitivity when they're asking for that compassion and taking action on controlling those and, and sharing and expressing them and receiving them, having that compassion um, of what's coming up around you and being aware of why, why and what is happening. So the next one is something they can see coming towards the end of the week or soon, and it is the Ace of Cups. So an emotional onslaught, so like an overflow of love, an overflow of emotion for sure and we see the peace dove at the top of this and so there's peace coming ultimately from this it's like a, a, a waterfall of a cleanse energies that are coming you know a new fresh emotion coming up again so this is what is coming soon so connecting to that also I'm, I'm sensing a need to kind of connect to the water element in general so drinking more water having water around you or near you going to larger bodies of water if you have them available are going to be good for your energy um, and helpful and helping this energy be moved and shift and cleansed and cleared so I feel a lot of that is um, you know family ancestral karmic patterns from the past are being brought up and, and cleansed this week and just being aware of it and what's coming they're saying is what this was about and working on it together as a collective to create a new future is what they're saying ultimately taking the actions that are needed you know really coming into that yang energy is important in these relationships and it's really spelling out it's for those um, spiritual relationships and clearing those karmic uh, childhood patterns this week and really feeling a fresh new emotional onslaught so as you're going to be feeling something new coming in it is more peaceful um, so i hope everyone has enjoyed this reading um, and i will be doing my angel reading and uploading it as well Angel blessings and, of course, oceans of love. Remember to hold compassion and space for everyone that you are sending love to and exchanging love to with in your life in general. Angel blessings.